hey hello welcome in this video we are going to learn how we can test our rest rest based integration or that can be that app driven integration from any third party application that can be postman or soap ui or any other so suppose i have created this integration and once i will let me show you the integration so this integration is taking some values as a request payload and this integration is returning back some values as a response payload so here if you will see i run the integration and once the integration completed whatever value it's taken it is going to return back the sum of these two element in the response payload with some additional information like integration run by the user integration run date and the integration instance id that is the same id you can see here whenever we are running any integration it's generating the instance id so how we can test this integration from any third party application there can be the various scenarios where you have to create app driven integration and you have to call that integration from vbcs page or anywhere from anywhere so how you can do that one so for testing that we require the metadata you require the url of that integration that is the endpoint url of that integration so from where we can get the endpoint of url so we can get the endpoint of the url of the integration is by clicking on here in the endpoint metadata once you will click here you can see the metadata de details of the integration so you can see this is the endpoint url this is the actual url of the integration that third party required to execute a call so this can be considered as a rest api why this integration will be considered as a rest api because we, when we created this integration we used rest and point connection rest connection to configure the request and the response payload that's why the integration app driven integration will be considered as a rest api so here you can say i have copied the value and once i will paste the value here so this will be our integration url integration instance and if you will see this integration instance is a combination of two things the first this part is the integration url this is the api integration and the rest of the point is the uri of the integration the same you can find here ic ic slash api slash integration v1 this is the integration short name and the this is the version and the integration uri and you can see same here this is the integration instance sorry this is the integration instance from dot com this is the integration instance and that is the ic is the complete details of the integration so this so now we have the integration url integration url or we can say the integration api integration details now for testing that one we require application that can be the postman or anything in my case it's postman so here i will click it in new testing application and here i will pass the url now whenever we are saying that we are calling the rest api we require the method of the rest api so how you can identify the method of your rest api or the method of the connection so whenever you are creating the rest connection the rest connection using the rest connection as a trigger point for the integration you have to select the method so here you can see we selected method as a post same you can find in the endpoint metadata also you can see the method as post so in the postman i will select method as a post now once we selected the method we given the url now it's time to provide the the body body as a request payload if we have right so here you can see in our integration we have request sample request as this one and the same we are passing from here only so this is the request payload so i will copy this request payload and i will pass here in the body here instead of none i will select a row if i will uh, make a, this as a less than you can see the same values here in the row uh, my value request payload type as json so i will select json here and i will provide the value here so this is my request payload now our integration is ready to run ready ready for test so whenever i will run the integration for running the integration as this is the rest api we require credentials we require authentication so here we have to provide the authentication authentication suppose if i didn't provide any authentication once i will run it will show us the error as unauthorized so we have to provide the authentication authentication in authentication i will select basic and here we have to provide the username and password of that oracle integration instance so here this is our oracle integration instance and the user which user we log in to the integration instance the same user i need to provide here in the, in the postman so i added the user as a fox oracle apps this is the oracle in, in, integration user and the password now everything is done we have given the payload once i will click on the send it will return back some message so you can see this is returning as a response payload you can see 
in response payload what status you can say 200 okay and what value we are getting we are getting result as 70 50 plus 20 as 70 this is the same we implemented in integration only and here you can see the install integration run by the user integration run date that the today date and the integration instance id this is the same id we are generating getting every time whenever we are running the integration so from where we when we run the integration we generate the id same we can identify from the instance only from here only right so if suppose we pass the value as 120 plus 500 it will show us new values that will the 620 you can see and the time is also changed you can see so this is the way how we can test our application our integration created right and as told you that whenever we are running any integration it's generating instance id same instance id we can see here also right so if suppose we pass another value 150 and plus 550 suppose we provide it as 50 so it will generate and it will generate a new instance id you can see j e b and the new values so as you know that we can trigger our integration from any other application and whenever we run the integration in generate instance id same instance id we can find from integration instance for that you need to navigate to the observabilities and here we have the we have the instances so once you will see the instances you can you can check the instance details so whatever integration we ins executed here you can see this is the instance id jeb the latest instance id we got so suppose here we have the latest instance id suppose we run the integration again and the new instance id will be pr something like pr double seven and if you will move here and once you will refresh you can see the new instance id we will get here only you can see pr triple seven and what value we have set we have seen the value as 150 so this is the p value one we added as a review parameter as as a business identifier in the tracking variables so the whatever value we are passing as a p value one it's showing here only right so suppose in p value one if we pass 154 and we run the integration the same p value value we can find here so let me you can see the integration run and it's return the result once i will re refresh here you can see the same value you can see the p value as 154 here this is the p value we base we send and the, this is the payload we added as a business tracking variable so this is the basic way how we can test our integration we can run our integration so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like the videos and don't forget to make a comment give your review how how is the video you like and is there any anything for the improvement you can make a comment on that thank you so much